Hey guys, Havasu Lou out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hey, we're out here checking out this listing in the residential estates with an RV garage and a shop. Hang out, check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right guys, we're out here at 2148 Rudolph Drive in the residential estates. This was listed a couple weeks ago for $725. Has a cool um, detached RV garage shop setup. Also has some paved side parking on this side for RV access and boats. It's kind of a Santa Fe style home. Looks like there's a little window AC for the attached two car garage. Also, plenty of parking in the driveway over here as well. Again, this is in the residential estate, so everything around is nice. You have underground utilities, natural gas, typically bigger lots, setbacks, and easements. So all these garages and shop are detached. All right, let's go check it out. Looks like it has a really nice front courtyard entryway. So it does have this cool front courtyard. Patio is covered. All right, guys, this is a three bedroom, three bath, built in 1986. 1,859 square feet, sits on a big, almost 17,000 square foot lot in the residential estate zone area. Nice big open floor plan, vaulted ceilings. You have a gas starter fireplace. Big front window. Got a cool granite topped eat at kitchen counter with a little wet bar. Door out to the backyard. Stainless appliances, can lights, reverse osmosis drinking water at your sink, little pantry. Lots of windows out the kitchen sink. So this is a split floor plan. So you have the master garage access and your indoor laundry, which are behind these folding doors. We'll check out on one side of the house. And then you have the other two guest bedrooms on the other side. This is the master. So you have a slider out to the backyard. Little soaker jetted tub. You also have a Pretty big walk-in closet. Looks like it has some like mood up lights up there as well. And then you have your master bath, dual sinks and mirrors. And then you have your shower and toilet with its own door. Little step down shower, all tile to the ceiling. All right, let's go check out the other side of the house. So 
I noticed there's a little water damage in the corner there, probably from a previous leak. Doesn't look like it's current. So down the hall, the front of the house, you have guest bedroom number one. Looks like they're using it as an office. So in the middle of the hall, you have a guest bathroom. Combo soaker, shower. The other side of the hall, you have your third guest bedroom or your second guest bedroom, third bedroom. Does have a slider out to the backyard. So back over on the master side, you have your indoor laundry between the master and garage door access. So this is the attached two car garage, just your standard setup. It's 28 feet, seven foot door. You have your water heater, soft water. It's on natural gas water heater. Standard seven foot insulated door. And it does have that little window AC. So you have your door out to the backyard area. It's a little barbecue and TV. Covered patio. So this house does not have a pool, but there's plenty of room to put one in down here. So over here you have your detached RV garage, another two car garage and a shop. Let's go on in and check it out. All right, so you have a pretty cool detached garage setup. It has this little shop back here. Looks like there's a 50 amp. This could easily be converted into like a casita. They have skylights in here as well. Got your instant hot water, and this is where the third bathroom lives. So you have the two car side. It's 24 feet deep here with an eight foot door. It's all insulated, and this is air conditioned, by the way. They have this air conditioning unit. It doesn't have official ceiling vents. It just kind of blows but they have a little air freshener. Got some storage up there. More air, another 50 amp. And the RV garage side's 39 feet, has a 13 foot door, 15 foot wide at the door opening. Has skylights in here as well. I understand the car lift is at auction today. So I don't know if it's gonna sell or not, but that's the plan with the car lift. They also have that side gate right there that opens. Just gonna check it out over here and see what's over here. So you have a little dead spot over here. And then the back of the garage Looks like this is where they keep the air compressor that feeds the lines in the garage and then also this big central vac they, or the central AC they got going on over here.
Hey guys, have a see Lou back again with you. Hope you enjoyed the quick little video walk through the house over here on Rudolph. Again, this one is listed for $725. I also forgot to mention that the house can come fully furnished. I'll put a direct link to the listing detail page right below this video so you guys get the original listing pictures, current price, and availability. Of course, if you guys have any questions, always feel free to reach out. All my direct contact information is right below this video. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.